Nice to meet you too, yes? Yes. Uh, my name is Tang. Uh, I, I am a uh, uh, 10, 24, 0. Uh, I am I'm from uh, uh, Thanh Hoa. Uh, my hobby uh, my hobby are um, cooking and shopping and uh, relax uh, or uh, relax uh, or best uh, and uh, relaxing in, in your bed. Mm -hmm. And yes, yes, and now uh, walking. Yes. Right. Um, uh, I am a student and a worker. All right. Thank you very much, Tan. Right. Remember yes. when you say my hobby. R. Remember my hobbies. And also when you say uh, the word relax, remember in. The other verb you remember to add in, but not that verb. Okay. Thank you very much. And. Hello, Tu. Hello, everyone. My, uh, my name is Hoi Tu. Uh, I'm 27 years old, and I live and work in Ho Chi Minh City. I am an accountant, and um, I uh, like uh, watching movies and uh, going out uh, with my friends. Nice to meet you to all on you tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Tu. And hello, hello, Sian. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes. Hello. Please go ahead and introduce yourself. Yes. Hello, teacher. Uh, Can you hear me? Everybody, my name is Sian. I am twenty six. Yes, all. I from Haizhong province, uh, and I live uh, and work in Hanoi capital. I uh, I am a civil engineer. Um, my my hobbies are listening to music and. Uh, uh, watching film, read, reading book, and uh, traveling with my friends. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Singh. I'm sorry, uh, I, are you seeing or seeing? Uh, because I can't really see. Can you please re say your name, name one more time? Yes, uh, my name is Sian. Yeah, okay, thank you very much, Mr. Sian. And your turn, Ha. Hello, Ha. Yes, hello, teacher and everybody. My, My name is Ha. I'm 37 years old. I'm working and living in Binh Hoa City, Đồng Nai Province. My job is human resource management. Um, my hobby is Uh, uh, listening to music. Uh, uh, go to swimming with my friend. Sometimes I go to the cinema. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to yeah. meet you too. Thank you very much, Miss Ha. And home. Good evening, home. Yes. Yes. Uh, good evening, teachers and everybody. My name is mm -hmm. Home. I'm uh, 28 years old. I am a seaman. I I come from Ha Tinh, but uh, now I working and living in Ha Phong City. My hobbies are playing football, volleyball, swimming, and I also like traveling. Nice to meet all of you. Very good. Thank you for your introduction, uh, Mr. Hong. And hello, Hang. 
Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Yes, uh, my name is Hong. I'm uh, 29 years old. Uh, I am a nurse and uh, I am working at uh, Phạm Ngọc Thạch Hospital. Uh, I'm living at Ho Chi Minh City, but I come from Tiền Giang. I uh, got married uh, on last year. Uh, I like I, I like cooking, shopping, and traveling with my friends. Uh, that's all, teacher. Thank you very much. And nice to meet all of you guys. During today's lesson, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And in this lesson, we have a discussion about the topic, what to prepare for studying abroad. And before we start, here are the three rules that I want you guys to follow. Number one, use English only. Number two, practice speaking on a topic under the guidance of the teacher. And three, don't do personal things in your class. And now let's get started with a vocabulary game. Please match column A with column B to complete the sentences. You guys have two minutes to go. A, B, C, D, E, F, Z, H, I, Z, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, P, D, O, P, N, E, L. Very good. Thank you, Mr. C and Anne. My, how about the others? Thirty seconds left. <laughs> you can try a uh, pull. Thank you, Mr. Holm. All right. And it seems like you guys got them all correct. All right, time's up. And here is the answer. Okay, he's uh, typing. I'm waiting for her for a few seconds. Thank you very much, ha. Yeah, seems like you have the same answer with the other classmate. All right. Yeah. I didn't see your answer at all, but that's okay. You, if you agree with um, Hang, right. and also I already posted the answer in the chat box as well. And let me go over this one more time for you guys. We have one B. 
when do you get back to A? Can you give me some advice about what I need to prepare? 3D? What have you done so far? 4E? I've chosen a university and I'm in the process of applying for my visa and passport. Right? 5C? What do you know about the culture in England? And 6F? I'm sure you'll have a great time. Well done, everyone. Thank you very much. And now let's move to the first question. Question number two. What factors do you think students should consider when choosing a country to study abroad? So, am I? Can you please answer this question? Hello. No, no teacher. Um, uh, follow me. Uh, the first, uh, the student should to uh, try a program that he want to learn. Uh, when he uh, study up um, broad, uh, and he also um, to a uh, university of high quality in a suitable country. Um, uh, he uh, also uh, he should research about the culture of mm. that country, uh, and uh, he must to find. Uh, to find out the language uh, of that country to train uh, his skill. Uh, um, uh, okay, so you just list, uh, list three factors. Very good. Thank you very much, Hang Mai. And let me hear from home. Mr. So home. What about you? What do you think? Yes, sister. In uh, my opinion, I think when choose a country to study a cross screen is uh consider about uh, the qualities of uh, education and uh, tuition and uh equipment of the the of of the university and <laughs> I think so. Can you please repeat the second factor? So you said that the quality of the education system, and what is the second factor? Sickle uh, fee. Tuition. Tuition fee. Oh, yes. OK. Tuition fee. That's right. Thank you very much. So those are uh, your factors. Thank you, Mr. Holm. And ha, can you tell me what factors that you you think about? Yes, um, uh, uh, with uh, my uh, opinion, I think uh, 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 consider when I choosing a country to study abroad, uh, um, a uh, uh, living conditional uh, environment uh, culture. And um, uh, uh, was uh, study um, uh, conditional. Okay. So you're talking about the environment and the culture of that country. Is that right? I I can hear, I can hear you. So, Ms. Can, can you, you uh, this uh, your question? Yes, of course, of course. Well, I just want to uh, repeat one more time the factors that you mentioned. So, you mentioned the environment and the culture of the country. Is that right? The environment and the culture. Yes. Okay, very yes, good. I, uh, I yes, I... 
Any other any other factor that you want to add? Uh, 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 um, uh, I think uh, I don't I don't remember. Okay, that's okay. You uh, you can listen to your classmate for uh, their opinion. And Sien, Mr. Sien, your turn, please. Yes, I think um, students should um, uh, consider should consider um, um, factor uh, um, um, yes, um P uh, PC four uh, and uh, high quality uh, education uh, in uh, in country uh, in country uh, to study abroad um, and uh, and um, po politically. Uh, stable and uh, safe country and natural disaster in uh, country uh, in country uh, to study uh, study abroad yes I think so Thank you very much. So you did mention the natural disaster. Um, the well, the stability of politics, right? And the quality of the education system. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Sui. So those are your factors. Yeah, I really like it when you mentioned the uh, the stability of politics and the natural disaster. It could be it could be problems for students when they study abroad because I myself experienced that. <laughs> Right, and now, who I can you answer the question, please? Uh, in my opinion, I think the students should consider about um, the, the education system. Um, they want to uh, follow and uh, about uh, about uh, the weather. Maybe uh, it's too cold. They uh, cannot uh, live if uh, the weather is too cold. Uh, the student cannot live in uh, it, and uh, they should consider about. Cost of living, where where they live and study, and uh, uh, they should consider uh, about the local life. Uh, is it a uh, peace or uh, it uh, it has a uh, um, a world? It has world peace or world? Do you mean the policies or the politics? Which one?
and any other factor. So that's all. Yeah, you you have listed so many factors, like educational system, the weather, the cost of living, and then the local life that you need to see the well the scenery um, that you need to explore or visit that country. Oh, very good. Thank thank you and. The last one. What about you, Ms. Tan? Yes. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't think uh, students uh, uh, should consider when uh, choosing a country to study abroad uh, uh, via. So they. And um, how? Housing. Right. You mean accommodation, like where they should live? Right. Housing. Um. Yes. Uh. Or. Orientation. Orientation. Yes. Um. So what do you uh, mean about no, 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 orientation, no. Miss Tan? What do you mean by that? Can you explain a little bit more for me and the other classmates as well? Like... Um, and... Uh, And uh, insurance. insurance. Yes. Right. Insurance. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. Uh, eh. right. Is that all? Or and uh, tickets. The ticket. All right. So you said yes. that the factors that uh, the students should consider when they uh, study abroad are um, housing. You mean? Accommodation and then insurance, hey. orientation, and ticket. Very good. Thank you, Miss Tan. Yes. All right. So those are so many factors that you guys have just listed. Thank you very much. And now let's move to the next question. Question number three. Discuss with your partner the advantages of studying abroad. So please emphasize the advantages, okay? Not the others, like we are not talking about the disadvantages, only the advantages. Who hi you and Hang Mai, please. You guys have three minutes to go. What advantage uh, do you think? Uh, how do you think about study abroad? First, to uh, it will be study a uh, quick professional education, uh, and uh, mm, he uh, uh, can uh, can opportunity uh, to improve uh, his skill, mm, uh, his uh, language uh, skill, uh, life uh, experience. Um, uh, 
uh, he also have uh, uh, opportunity to find a good job um, and uh, uh, to to know about the work. Yes, um, I agree with you. And uh, in my opinion, I think not other adventures of spirit abroad are um, you can travel, you can travel, and you can open your mind in the world. Uh, uh, do you agree with me? Yes, uh, I agree with you, you. You can uh, improve your English skill, like you say, like you said, and yes. <coughs> can make uh, make more new friends uh, um foreigner friends i think that is very good and yes. um uh, i think uh, uh, you 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 will be live in a modern modern life because uh, uh that country is very very uh, rich i think so if you choose uh, if you uh, choose a uh, rich country to study abroad like uh, Canada, Australia, or USA, you will uh, live and work in a professional environment. Right? Very good. I'm sorry that I have to mute uh, Miss Hang my, my microphone and also yours because time's up. What? Well, uh, those are a lot of disadvantages, uh, I'm sorry, advantages that you guys just uh, mentioned. Very good. And now let me hear from Mr. Yes. Hong and Ms. Tan. You guys have three yes. minutes as yeah. well. Okay. Let's discuss. Uh, hi, Hong. Nice. nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. Uh, uh, how are you? Why, how do you think about the advances of study abroad? Uh, yes. Uh, I think. I think. Uh, um, I think. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I think students um, shows in uh, in the president. in the president uh, and um, confident. and. Um, and uh, to struggle with uh, on our shell and um, strong for uh, for careful okay in uh, in my opinion, I think uh, I think when the study abroad have a lot of advantages. For example, uh, we can improve we can improve knowledge, uh, improve language skills. Uh, main language of the country we can uh, we study or English language, and you can approach you can across a uh, high quality education you also meet uh, new friends yeah. and you when study abroad you can uh, after and you can uh, find a good job after you after finish uh, you can find a good job with high salary 
feel all of those explore new city, new country. That mm -hmm. I think so. Thank you very much, Miss Tan and Miss Mister Hong. Well, you guys have just um, mentioned some other advantages, and some of yours are the same as the other pair. So very good. And now the last pair, Suyin. I'm sorry, Mr. Suyin and Ha. Hello. Let's have three minutes too. Okay. Hello, Suyin. Hello, Miss Ha. Yes, uh, I hear you. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. How are you today? I uh, I am very good. Uh, thank you. And you? I'm Chris. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, what and, do uh, can you uh, tell me? Yeah, yes, you continue. You yes. Uh, what do you think? Uh, um, your uh, what do you think? Uh, student uh, advantage of study uh, abroad. Yes, I I think uh, uh, the advantage of a study abroad has many. Um, and, uh, uh, we can see the world um, um, education. Um, another reason um, uh, you um, might cons uh, consider study abroad uh, is for the chance to experience different styles of educated, um, education. Um, take in a new culture, um, uh, home your, um, uh, your language skill, and um, uh, uh, carry opportunity, and um, uh, we uh, we can um, find new interest. Um, uh, max, max, uh, max line long train and um, uh, personnel development, um, uh, rare school as uh, admission and uh, life experience, and you. Um, do uh, can you um, tell me um, um, different advent, uh, the advantages of study abroad with um, study in um, my uh, my country? Uh, yes. Uh, the can you tell me? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I think um, I think uh, the um, at the uh, advantage of uh, studying uh, abroad uh, um, um, uh, you uh, you can um, um, study uh, um, study high qu quality um, education in uh, abroad uh, abroad um, and um, you uh, can um, check you can achieve uh, much uh, bless in uh, in your in uh, country um, in news in new country uh, and uh, uh, yes, I brought. Uh, I am, um, and you. Uh, if you a student uh, studying uh, abroad, you can. Uh, uh, you. You can um, uh, live uh, in. Uh, in new in new country uh, um, and, um, mm, and and you have uh, uh, traffic uh, better um, and um, 
um, you you can right. have have uh, uh, work better. Yes, I think so. Hi. Thank you very much, Mr. Cien. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can explore a new brand, a brand new country. All right. And well, I'm sorry, I have to stop you right there because we need to move on to the last question, number four. And in this one, you guys want to uh, have a role and act it out. Here's our scenario, our context. A, you are planning to go study abroad next year and ask your friend what you need to prepare. And B, a, you are student A friend, talk with him or her. So each pair has three minutes as well, so try to manage your conversation within three minutes. Okay? Now, Hu Hai and Mr. Hong, please. Yes. Hello. Hello, uh, go ahead. Uh, ha have you ever studied abroad before? Uh, no, I haven't. I oh. really like to study abroad, but uh, <laughs> I not enough money. <laughs> How about uh. you? What's the BT? I'm planning to go study abroad uh, next year. So I uh, think I can get some advice from you. Um, uh, do you have any advice for me? Yes, you, uh, okay. I think you need, uh, you need to, should uh, I prepare, you need to prepare for study abroad. Yes, this is uh, apply visa, passport, choose a college, and choose also uh, this find information about uh, the country of uh, you will go to study. Yes. Which which country do you will go to study? Uh. I uh, haven't decided yet. It's uh, in the process. It's still in the process, and mm -hmm. I am um, uh, I am searching some university that I can learn. Uh, do you know any uh, good university? Can you uh, suggest me? <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I, uh, I haven't go to airport before. I don't know have, I don't have any information about the college in another country. Yes, I see. Okay. Um. All right, wrap up, guys. Yes. You know um, where where I have to uh, where I have to apply a visa. Yes, you can go to uh, go to some centers apply a visa. I don't know. Uh, in basic. Oh. Have you have you ever applied a visa before? No, I have one. I, uh, I just, I just apply mm -hmm. a passport, but I haven't applied a visa. Well, thank you, Mr. Hom and Tu Hai for your conversation. Well, I think we can apply for a visa at the embassy, the embassy, okay? And uh, well, since you have never applied for one, so maybe it's difficult for you to give some advice to uh, Ms. Tu Hai. And now, Hang Mai and Mr. Sien, you guys have three minutes to yes. converse. Uh, hello, Mr. 
Uh, hello, Miss Han. Um, yes. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yes, me too. Um, are yeah. you planning to go uh, study across next year? Yes, I uh, I got um, I got to study uh, uh, studying in uh, study abroad. Um, yes. Uh, when? Uh, yes, I um, I go. Uh, I uh, study um, uh, study um for um three months abroad. Mm -hmm. I study yes, abroad um, uh, three months ago. In your future? Yeah. Yes. Uh, in future. Uh, yes. Um, do Do you have uh, Do you prepare uh, for your study abroad? Uh, how How do you prepare? I uh, just yes, I um uh. Well, Mr. Singh, since you are the one who who is going to study abroad, you should ask yeah. um Ms. Hang Mai some advice. Okay. You can uh, prepare visa and uh, uh and ku kucho in uh, country you study um, and uh, and uh, mm -hmm. yes I think so uh, I think uh, uh, you have a uh, preparation uh, carefully uh, such a visa and uh, other important paper and uh, uh, I see you uh, can you are uh, studying English uh, to prepare your language skill uh, to it, uh, it is the most important uh, to understand your lesson and uh, communicate with everyone in this country um, that's uh, you uh, will go and uh, I I have some event, uh, advice for you. Uh, such a uh, you need to prepare uh, money uh, and uh, find a way to earn money while studying abroad. Um, you also need uh, to find uh, local uh, connection that uh, can help you. If you have problems, uh, you should research carefully about the country, the weather, uh, local la life, food, and uh, accommodation, uh, and uh, cost of things in this country. Uh, uh, that's all. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Hang Mai, for your advice. And those are very good pieces of advice. And I totally agree with you. Now let's, uh, well, the last pair, this time. And I'm sorry, is that uh, Ha or Mr. Home? Ha, have you talked? I'm sorry, I forgot. Yes. No, you, you did? Okay, so it's probably Mr. Home. Home, have you talked? Uh, probably not yet, right? Okay, so if you haven't talked, uh, so did you did you discuss this question yet? Or uh, Miss Han? Because I you did? Okay, so if you did already, so it's Miss Ha's turn. Miss Ha, have you talked? 
or not yet? Yes, I I ready. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. So please go ahead, Miss Tan and Mr. Ha. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Hong. Yes, you guys have three minutes. Yes. Uh, Hello, hi. Yes. Uh, Nice to meet you. Okay. That's nice to meet you. So, Han, you are A, you are A, and home, you are B, okay? Yes. Um, are you planning to go study abroad next year? Are yes. you? <laughs> yes. I will uh, go to study abroad. I'll uh, go to study in uh, Japan next year. Please give me some advice what I need to prepare. Yes. Um, you, need, you need to uh, prepare, um, prepare, um, prepare, uh, tickets. Uh, um, and uh, money. And uh, yes. tapas. Yes. Uh, and um, chosen a uh, university. Chosen, yes. chosen university. Anything else? Yes, uh, visa. <laughs> yes. Yes, I uh, really have passport, visa, and I also choose a uh, college in Japan and I think uh, another uh, factor is very important needs uh, prepare us uh, uh, oh. I think uh, in Japan a uh, very cool in the, in the winter therefore I will prepare some quads for that mm -hmm. okay so uh, remember to bring some more coats very big uh, oh. and thick coats or jackets yep well uh, I'm sorry that I have to stop you guys because time's up and uh, everyone please remember to do your homework to Remember to practice more at home, talking about what we need to prepare, what we should prepare when we want to study abroad. Okay? And this is the end of our lesson. Do you guys have any questions for me? No. No question, teacher. No. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone, for teacher. coming to no class. No question, teacher. Teacher, why, why, yeah. why, teacher? I want, Bye, I want a Western. Yes, yes. Why, what is, why this, uh, yes, why, what is, uh, this cup? I can speak. Oh, so you haven't, you haven't spoke. You, you mean you are Miss Ha? Yes, I ready, but I can speak. Oh, you said you ready. I'm sorry. I thought you said that already because I tried to ask you a few times. That have yes, you so oh, well. Miss one one billboard. Miss two two uh, twice twice. But I can't miss. I'm I'm very uh, sad. No, no, Miss Ha. I'm sorry because I tried to ask if you if you have spoken yet. But then I misunderstood. So do you want to discuss this question with me? Because I tried to ask if you spoken and then I, I forgot, I forgot.
We already discussed this question. I tried to ask Mr. Holm or some other classmates, but then when you said that you are ready, I thought that you said you you already talk. That's why I skip you. She Do you want to discuss? She is gone. She oh she yeah, because well, <laughs> I I tried to ask her because I, I forgot to already talk. Yes. All right, thank you very much, guys, and I hope to see you next time. Thank, thank you, you for understanding. Yes. See you next time. Uh, have bye a bye. nice night. Thank, thank you. Goodbye. And you too, thank you very much. <laughs> yes.